What's up guys, Gator with self.dev. Today we are gonna go over how to fix uncaught type error, cannot read properties of undefined reading has cape or whatever property you're trying to read. So let's go look at the code and see if we can figure out what's going on here. In our scenario of this code, we are gonna pretend like we made some API request and it's sending back data. Um, I watched the boys this weekend, so our pretend data has to do with the boys, but we're, we're gonna say the API sends back data about the boys, right? And it looks like this, it's got a name, it's got their powers, and it's got a costume, which describes their costume. And inside there, it's just gonna have a Boolean called has cape. And that's just whether they have a cape or not. So we're gonna pretend like we got this back from an API. And then we want to say data dot for each. So for each object in this array of data, if they have a cape, basically, we want to console log the hero name has a cape. If they don't, then we want to console log hero name does not have a cape. Now let's go through this line by line so we can see kind of what's going on and why this error is occurring. Uh, you, you might be able to just look at it and be like, oh, I see why it's occurring, but we're going to go through it just to kind of explain it better. So data dot for each, um, we're going to call each individual object hero. So the first time through, it grabs this object and that is hero. And then we're gonna say hero.costume.hascape. So we grab the object, we look at costume, we look at has cape, and that's true. So cool, that's true. We go inside the if statement and we say hero.name, so homelander has a cape. And then if we look in here, it console logged homelander has a cape. Next time we go through, we grab this second object. It says if hero.costume.hascape, so look at the object hero, we look at costume, we look at has cape, it's false. So we do not go inside this if statement, we go to else and it console logs hero.name, which is the deep hero name, does not have a cape. Third time through, we grab this object and it says hero.costume.has cape. So we look at hero, we say, okay, um, we got hero. There's no costume on here, so costume is undefined. And then we try to get has cape on that undefined property and we get cannot read properties of undefined because we're trying to read properties of undefined. Like it's when we say hero.costume, it's basically hero.costume undefined like this. And we're trying to access has cape on that, but it's undefined, so it doesn't have cape, so thus we get the error. Now, how do we fix that? Well, um, one, if you have control over the data, um, that's the easy, or one of the easy, they're all easy ways, actually. Um, if you have control over the data, we can just add costume and has cape, and then save, and that will fix it, and it will console log all three things as we expect. But in our scenario, um, we're getting this back from an API, right? So we can't really control the data that comes back. We can just control what we do with the data and how we handle that error. So we can use optional chaining. That's one thing. Um, we can just add a question mark here and that's gonna say, hey, if costume is, it's basically saying if costume is not undefined, then let's try and access has cape on it, right? And then if we save here, we've removed the costume property from this and go back and it still works because it's basically saying hero, getting this one, costume. It's saying that costume does not exist on this. It's undefined. And then it's saying, all right, cool, that's false. So it breaks out of that and goes to the else. Another way you can do this if you, I think this um, was introduced in node like 13. So if you have to use an older version of node and you're not able to use this question mark, um, a little more, tedious way to do it, you can say hero.costume and hero.costume that has cape because undefined, which is like when we try to read costume on hero, it's undefined and undefined is a falsy value. So when it says hero.costume, that's false. And it says, okay, cool. Well, that's false. This is and so both of these would need to be true for us to go in here. This one's false, we're gonna skip it. And it goes down to the this and continues on. And let's just save and go look at our console. And we can see there's no errors in there for that. And that's the third way to solve it. But hopefully you're using no, or um, 
like a version that does support this. So you can just use optional training. That makes it way easier and that'll solve your problem. But hope this helps you out. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions um, or comments, let me know in the description or the comments below. Uh, if you wanna get my resume template, the one I used when I was applying for tech jobs before I had any tech experience, a link to that is in the description. If you wanna come hang out in Discord and talk tech, a link for that is in the description as well. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.